The remains were found in the basement of the former funeral home. This development coming to light in just the past few hours. A worker stumbled across the find while cleaning it out. Defender Karen Drew spent most of the day at the funeral home and has exclusive new information. Karen. Kim and Devin, I did not expect this was going to happen today. Now, I just left the funeral home actually talking to the worker who made that discovery. Now, we are talking about cremated remains just found, not of one body, but of four different people. The little closet here. The current owner of the building, Naived Syed, showed me where the decomposing bodies of 11 infants were found. Up these steps, behind all of this insulation. Right there. Yeah. I took a look myself because I was like so many, wondering how these bodies could have been hidden without anyone noticing. He walked past about 10, 15 times here. Never seen this thing. And that's when our story took a grisly and disturbing turn. And that isn't the only discovery that's been made. We just found out more remains have just been found down these steps in the basement. The remains of two people were found today and another two people just a couple days ago. Here in the basement, one of the workers was here this morning cleaning. He tells me he found the remains of one individual in a plastic bag and a plastic container over behind this shelf. And then way back there in the dark in the corner, he found the remains of another person just thrown away like trash. The worker who made the find didn't want to talk on camera. Understandably, many are worried there could be more discoveries. Still so much to clean, the facility so large. I also made a stop at the A.Q. Cantrell Funeral Home in East Point. Now, this is where state investigators made a surprise inspection yesterday after receiving a tip. I went inside. No one was willing to talk. In an issued statement from the attorney representing the East Point facility, he said, nothing out of order was found. It is unfortunate that some individuals are implicating my client. Meantime, back at the Detroit Cantrell Funeral Home, the cleanup continues. The owner turning this place into a community center. But first, planning on a prayer service this weekend for those who still have so many unanswered questions on who has been left behind here. That prayer service will take place this Saturday. I'll post more details on the website. Now, as for the remains that were found of the four different people, the new owner did contact the state. Investigators have picked up those remains, and their investigation continues. Oh, man. So, uh, hard to fathom exactly what inspectors, uh, have, uh, how many times they've been now to this facility and yet they keep finding more. And that's what's so surprising. When I did ask state inspectors in the beginning of why this is happening, they said, well, at first, because those remains were hidden, as we saw going up the stairs. You know, yeah. they didn't really see them behind that insulation. But today, they were in a basement. They were in a plastic bag. They were by a shelf. But that's where I'm trying to hold the state accountable and say, OK, well, these weren't necessarily hidden. They were in the basement. And those workers, they're fearing that they're going to find more. Yeah. 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 Wow. All right. Thanks, Karen.